In this video, we're gonna be using 345 Soap Company Bel Air and the Ribbon 1000 razor with a brand new edge. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're gonna be using 345 Soap Company Bel Air. And this is a really nice uh, smelling soap to my nose. I didn't know if I would like it based on the notes, if I'm being honest. The notes, we'll put them for you right there. Lavender, geranium, cedar, mahogany. But fortunately, it comes together beautifully and I like it a lot. Ah, very nice scent strength. Um, I would call it the far end of medium. Really good scent strength. And look at the uh, guitar pick in there. I think that's a really nice touch. And sometimes it's those little things that artisans do that just sort of, I don't know, bring a little bit of brightness to your day. It's like, oh, cool, I got something to scoop myself with. I just think it's a nice touch, uh, well done. I purchased this from the Razor Company, and of course I'll have a link below. It was $16.95 for 5.8 ounces, or $2.92 an ounce on our cost chart there, which is exceptional. This is a very good quality soap at a good price, at a very good price. Um, the ingredients will show you right there. This is the Trinity base, which has donkey milk, camel milk, goat's milk. And if you haven't seen uh, Real Talk from this past Friday, uh, I'll pop it up there and I'll link it below. Uh, we did a spotlight with John from 345 Sump Company. And so really looking forward to using this today. The razor for today is the Ribbon 1000 razor. And this was gifted to me by Ray Pope. Thank you, Ray. And when I got it, it had a Shafton 30K uh, edge on it. And you know, I always like to rehone after I try a razor. So I rehoned this and put my 20K edge on it. I killed the edge, took it down to the Shapton Glass 8K, then took it to the Nano Y 12K, and then the Suhiro uh, 20K. So we'll see if we did a great job on the edge. I certainly hope so. Let's get right into it today. We're gonna start by misting the face. We've got our standard uh, nearly 24 hours of growth, which I hope you can see there. And the misting bottle here, the purpose is just to apply hydration to the face and it keeps my hands dry, which I, I like. And I think it does a good job of distributing distributing the moisture. Brush for today is the AP Shave Co, what I call the White Wizard, 30 millimeter cashmere knot and Captain's Choice bowl. And I think we've got a nice lather made today with the 345 Soap Bel Air. Really nice scent and I look forward to seeing what uh, John from 345 puts out this year. I know Shark Bite is coming back, I think he said during Real Talk in May, so I look forward to picking that one up. I gave mine away last year to the Stallion because I wanted him to try 345 and Shark Bite and he really liked it. And so this is a really nice smelling soap here. I, I just, I didn't know if I would like it, but as it turns out, it's very nice. It's hard to describe the way it smells. It, um, it's got a warmth to it. There's nothing funky whatsoever about it. It's got some sweetness. Um, it's not particularly herbal, but it's not particularly sweet. It's kind of in the middle. Um, warm, I would call it, I think, but not too warm. Very nice. And of course, it makes a really nice lather, as you can see here. Good hydration in it. It's not finicky. It doesn't require a lot of finessing. And you know me, I really like that. Okay, let's set that aside and sort of wipe away some of this extra stuff here because we don't need to shave quite that far down. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. And uh, yes, it's Monday. It's it's back to work day, but the way I look at it, every single day when I get up, I'm fortunate just to be here and have the opportunity to have a great day. And so try to put on that uh, good attitude for the Monday. I know some people just aren't morning people and they're not Monday people, but I'm a person who is one of those like, hey man, I'm, I'm glad just to have another shot at it and have the opportunity to come in here and do another shave and uh, have another great day. All right, there we go. Feels pretty good so far. We'll see if it continues. Ray had already put a, a very nice edge on this with the Shapton. And today we're just trying to see how we did once I killed the edge and brought it back and it's feeling nice. Very nice indeed. One of the things I think um, is great about some of these uh, vintage razors is a, a lot of times the steel is gonna be better than what you have on the gold dollar. And so they do take an edge a little easier. You gotta work at it with the gold dollars. But 
I think the gold dollars are quite valuable because if you do beat them up or if you, if you had to rehone them repeatedly, you don't really care because you don't have much invested. And I think that's, I think that's valuable. You can really learn a lot on a gold dollar and they'll teach you a lot because most of them require some level of uh, fixing in terms of uh, getting them the geometry straight and all that sort of thing. Very nice, very, very nice today with the Ribbon 1000. But some of these old vintage razors like this are just, they're a little easier to put that edge on and every now and then you want it a little easy <laughs> and not have to work so hard because the gold dollars, you really got to work on them. Or at least I find I do. All right, here we go with the other side and the soap here, very nice. No problems whatsoever. Smells great, feels great, nice and slick. Um, it's really got everything you want. Or at least it has everything I want in a soap. And we had a good conversation the other night with uh, John. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. The quality on the on John's video is not great, but uh, I think you'll kind of learn a little bit about who John is and why he does things the way he does and sort of his business philosophy and so on. So I think those um, spotlights we've been doing are very valuable in that regard. You can get to know the, the artisan a little bit and we try to keep it light and not too serious, but we do ask some serious questions as well or questions you'd, you'd want to know about how they do business and I know some people have watched uh, those spots and they're like, hey, I'm going to get some 345 now. I was, uh, I really liked the way he conducted himself. And that's always nice to have someone who's uh, moved to make a purchase based on just seeing uh, someone's attitude or the way they conduct themselves. And they're like, you know, I want to support that guy. So that's awesome. And we're always happy about that. John is a, he's quite a nice fellow and he sure is making a good soap here, so. If you haven't tried 345 Soap Company, the price is right. The time is now, check it out. <laughs> it's good stuff. This one, again, I would characterize this as a warm scent. Really good quality. No quality problems whatsoever. Warm, um, good scent strength on it. Like I said, uh, I would call it medium plus, you know, the, the scent strength. Very enjoyable, um, kind of for me, in what I would call an easygoing scent. It's not, it's not too much of any one thing. And so for me, that's enjoyable. And I know not everyone watches uh, these uh, straight razor shaves all the way through, but I encourage you to, uh, if you see a product like this that you're interested in, watch the straight razor shave as well, because uh, I'm gonna be talking about the, the products in every single video, regardless whether I'm using a DE or straight razor. And so I'm always gonna, you know, give you my thoughts on the soap as well as the razor and what I've done with the razor, if I've honed it or the DE razor, it doesn't matter. I'm always gonna try to give you some information about what I'm using. And I must say this brush here, this 30 millimeter cashmere, incredibly soft. The cashmere knot for me is the, the softest knot uh, available um, as far as I'm concerned. Um, as someone who, you know, favors synthetic brushes, which I do, um, it's probably my favorite knot. Because again, and I say this all the time, but you never know when somebody new will happen along. Um, I don't do a lot of scrubbing. I don't require scrubbing. And contrary to popular belief, you do not need a lot of backbone to lather a soap. I can lather any soap with this very, very soft brush. So, um... It, it works well for me and I love these soft knots that are easy on my face because I'm dragging this on my face, which is not <laughs> always easy on my face. So I don't see any reason to put more trauma on my face via the brush. It's really scratchy and scrubby and I just don't see any point in that. Now, one of the things I really love about these hollow grinds is that right there, that feedback, which you just don't get from a wedge. And every time I'm using a wedge, I miss it. 
I miss that tremendous feedback. It's just fun, you know. And it's a it's an aid in helping you figure out, uh, you know, that you're shaving well and you're hitting the spot there. And maybe your angle is on point because it will sound different depending on what you're doing. And it just gives you that satisfaction of knowing your edge is working, you're cutting hair. It's very enjoyable and that's, that's why hollows are my jam, so to speak. You just can't beat that, that sort of a uh, buttering, sort of a uh, well done toast, not well done in terms of being brown, but let's say the toast isn't soft and you're just putting the butter on it. It's, that's what it sounds like to me. And it is quite enjoyable. And the edge on here, I've done a good job on. And I expected it to be good because the bevel was already set well by Ray. And uh, it was just a matter of killing the edge and then bringing it back, which is certainly easier than starting from scratch. Very nice. I really enjoy that feedback. And that's just something, sometimes you can hear the wedges a little bit, but they don't produce the sort of feedback the hollows do. Very, very nice indeed. And the soap is uh, it's quite slick. It's holding its hydration well, and that's really what you want the soap to do is hold hydration and not be too airy and make sure it's capable of keeping moisture in there, which when the hydration, when mixed with that soap, is what makes it slick. The soap has to have water to be slick, and the soaps that hold water well are quite slick. And honestly, most soaps produced today are uh, are slick. If you if you lather them in a way that gets the best out of the soap, they're going to be slick. Almost every soap. I mean, you get a bar soap wet in the shower, what what happens? It gets slick. <laughs> so when it's dry, it's not slick at all. But as soon as you get it wet, it's got that sheen of slickness on it. It's very slick. So most soaps today are, are quite slick once you lather them in a way that gets the best out of them. So make sure you're spending a little time working some hydration into your lather. The amount of hydration is just personal preference. So you... Do it however you like, completely up to you, but make sure you, you work some hydration in there. And some soaps probably have a, excuse me, got a little water in the ear there. Um, some soaps probably have an ability to hold a little water, a little more water than others based on the way they're made. But just about every soap will get it done. So I'm not one of those that's super finicky about bases. So to speak, I think I've seen like an eyelash or something over there. It's driving me nuts, but we'll press on. And as you can see there in this particular soap, you see it's got plenty of hydration in there. So that's going to be slick every single time. And you see how it sort of hangs there without, it's just on the verge of falling off. That's, that's uh, nearly ideal for me. Now, other people might want it maybe not quite is hydrated or maybe not quite as thick it really just depends but you do need hydration it is important to create that slickness and slickness for me is king it's what allows everything to function i'm not a i'm not someone who uh talks about cushion because i'm not really i don't really i don't want to say i don't believe in it but to me it, that's not an important quality. If it does exist, uh, I'm not interested in that because as I've said before, I want the blade to, to be close to my face. I don't want a cushion that's holding it off my face because I want it, I want a close shave and I want the blade to be sitting as close to my face as possible, but I want that sheen of slickness to allow it to glide easily. And that's what I'm looking for in a soap. I'm not looking for protection, so to speak, as some people refer to it. The protection is here in the hands 
and here. <laughs> if you do what you're supposed to do, you'll be protected. The soap will not protect you from errors in your technique. If you do bad things, especially while wielding a straight razor, coming in too hot, making a horizontal movement when it's or oriented horizontally, that's a cut. Plain and simple. The soap here will not stop that. It's not gonna protect you from that. What it will do, however, is when it's on your face, allow it to glide. Assuming you have enough hydration in it and it will glide along without stopping, skipping, so on and so forth. And that's what it's really designed to do. Very nice, very nice indeed. Got lost there in the zen of the shave for a moment and got quiet. I don't do that a lot. I try to keep it moving because I don't like a lot of dead air in my videos. And for some people, that's a bad thing because they're probably like, oh, I wish you'd shut up. <laughs> but for other people, they appreciate the fact that I keep it going and keep it uh, going with conversation and try to have uh, a nice conversation each day while we're doing our shave and sharing my experience with you. And uh, this is just quite an enjoyable thing to do for me. Very nice. And there is a good amount of residual slickness left behind by this 345 soap, which that's what allows me to make those uh, repeated strokes after the visible lather is gone. There's a sheen left behind that's still slick. And so that's the qualities that you want in a soap. You do want that residual slickness. And then here we have to scoop a little bit to get in close to the ear. And then we flatten it out as we go over. And different people sort of do different sorts of passes. And uh, you do whatever it is that works well for you. Do the type of stretching that works well for you and just generally have the most enjoyable shave you could have because if it's not enjoyable, there's something wrong. It should be. You gotta find a way to make it enjoyable. <laughs> Use a uh, soap you enjoy, a, a scent, or, or just find some way to make it fun. So you want to do it every single day because you know I do because I love it. <laughs> okay, uh, that was an excellent shave. Great edge, great soap, great everything. Let me rinse and then we'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back in off cam. We did a warm water rinse and the reason I use warm water, it just gets the soap off easier. Then we applied the PAA Allen Block, no stinging whatsoever. So that was a very nice close shave. We followed that with a cold water rinse. Then of course we went to the Magic Made by Witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel. Really enjoyable shave today with 345 Soap Company Bel Air. A nice warm sort of sweet scent. I really enjoyed it. Good quality, no problems whatsoever. Big thumbs up on that. Our Rebin 1000 with our now 20K Edge was quite good. No, no problems whatsoever with that. That was really enjoyable to use. Of course we had our AP Shave Co. White Wizard with 30 millimeter cashmere knot. Excellent, I enjoyed it. Our daily driving Captain's Choice Copper Bow, and we shall finish it off today with an old school aftershave that is no longer available, Folsom and Company Black Powder, which is a really nice scent. And we will, we will start our day smelling good, having a great shave, and having a great attitude. And that's always important in my view. Try to have the best attitude you can or try to start your day on that positive note. And that's what these shaves do for me. And I hope it does the same for you. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.